Welcome back to Rogue Legacy! How's it going? My name is Bear, and last time we played Lady Shinoa, the Divine Barbarian Queen, was preceded by Lady Henrietta the Hokage. Both of them went uh, trudging on valiantly through the Maya, but unfortunately were bested at the hands of some very worthy foes that I'm quite afraid of now. We have a Assassin, another Hokage, and Sir Glabor. The Spell Sword with ADHD and the Dagger. I like that. Let's roll with Sir Glaber the second, and we have ourselves here 2394 in the realm of gold to spend. I'm gonna have a quick look over at my armor and runes again and see what kind of possibilities we can look at here. I'm considering taking off the balance rune and putting it on in favor of perhaps the siphon rune, and I know that sounds kind of silly, but I'm considering the fact that with the spell sword, we're gonna be wanting to get our mana up as much as humanly possible while avoiding. Uh, getting within enemy range as much as we can. Uh, this balance rune obviously is good still, and the fact that we have two runes available here makes me consider maybe not doing that, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not do that for now, but maybe a possibility for the future. Now, we also have uh, the option of unlocking something else here. We have another balance rune on the bracer, so perhaps we want to consider the retaliation rune here. Uh, returns damage taken from enemies, I think that's something we should probably consider. Oh, wait, we can equip two from every one, can't we? Have I just not realized that? Can we put more than one of each regardless of how many we have? That would be... Oh my goodness. I'm just now realizing this. Why was I under the impression that you could only have so many? I can put on as many as I want. I'm... Oh wait, no. Am I... No, yeah, okay, I'm an idiot. You can only have one equipped. I'm, a, I'm a, just a big, fat, dumb-dumb. Alright, so what I was seeing is that we were unlocking them as we... Uh, Highlighted them as opposed to having them grayed out, which means that we haven't purchased them yet. Okay, corrected myself, guys. Don't worry about it. I know you're probably halfway through writing the comment already, but that's okay. So now we've got 644 left. I'm pretty damn sure that that's not enough to buy anything. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, nothing good. Okay, no big deal. Away we go with Sir Glaber the Second, the Spell Sword with Daggers. I'm feeling slightly confident about this. I mean, the Maya has proven to be quite detrimental to my success already. But, uh, we're pretty dang strong here now, and I feel like we have a better chance than any, especially with the Spell Sword empowering our abilities. Of course, we don't want to do that just yet, considering we're already one-shotting all these guys, but... In the future here in the Maya, we're gonna want to consider doing that, uh, because, you know, they're freaking ridiculously strong here. I gotta get something to... Give me a competitive edge. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I mean, level 61, I felt like that was probably high enough to get up in there, but I'm learning that such may not be the case after all. Now, I'm worried uh, this is going to be a uh, worthless floor. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm gonna be able to get the vampirism back up to get full health again, despite taking that flame bolt to the face. Defeat all enemies. Can I do that? I can't do that. Don't have the spell necessary. That's okay. This is an obvious Doom Voss right here. I'm gonna wanna try to spell sword my way back up to maximum MP and go hi -ya! Boom shakalaka. Got a Doom Voss there, got him. So much good money, we're off to a decent enough start. I'm considering also the possibility of getting myself a uh, an upgrade to gold git, because I found that I'm getting a lot of money, but I could be getting a hell of a lot more. I mean, like, if we increase it exponent or not exponentially, I guess, whatever the factor is, factorially, for uh, getting more per gold get, I would consider that, or uh, I would venture a guess that I have the possibility of getting a hell of a lot more than I've been getting in these runs. I'm just playing it safe over here and trying to grab these chests. So just like that right there, that would have probably been maybe 80 more gold than what I could have gotten with just the standard git. Or, uh, I guess this is one level above the standard git if we want to be pedantic about it. Uh, just one more big hit for this guy. There we go. And another chest contains a whole bunch of money. 711 gold so far ain't half bad. We're going to try to find the entrance to the Maya as quickly as we possibly can, though. So, uh, perhaps over in this direction. We do have another path to go up, and I just completely whiffed on the guess of that Doom Foss. That's okay. Oh, we've got another car right here, no big deal. There's another one. I saw that one, actually, but I, for some reason, slipped on the slipped on the trigger, I guess I would say. Zombie gone, there we go. The Retaliation Rune's actually helping a hell of a lot already, I've noticed. 
I looked like I kind of jumped into a secret path there. That does look like a dwarf. Dwarf entrance. Of course, it's completely useless to serve Lattery. Uh, another Doom Voss here. Just go ahead and whack him down real quick. Again, haven't really needed to use the daggers that much. Still no reason not to just judiciously throw them out here, though, considering we're recovering our MP pretty quickly here and there. Blam, there we are, another chest containing some good money, and we're already up to 1,227 beautiful shiny dollars. Still got a decent amount of MP here, and I think this indeed is the entrance to the Maya, so let's do it, baby. Uh, now, uh, this is a bad room to start with, considering we can't actually kill those guys inside the wall. Of course, getting the HP back is a good idea. Go like that, there we go, and uh, oh, no more damage, please. I would prefer to stay alive for at least a little while here in this Maya run. What the hell is that? Is that good? I think that's just a guard box. I'm pretty sure that's just a guard box. Uh, oh man, I'm using my MP unwisely. Oh my goodness. My health is kind of dangerously low, too, here. Oh man, the Doom traits. Traits of Doom, that's a very accurate description here. Spell sorting away. I guess I could be using my empowered spell. That's probably a good idea. Oh, I'm out of MP again. Oh my goodness. Spell sword ho! Let's do it! I can recover this. Make this happen, baby. There's another one. And hiya! Oh yeah, that's strong. I like it. Boom! And another one. Ah, oh, I missed that one completely. You're just barely out of my range, too. Let's go like that. Oh my goodness, I need to recover, not take hits! Oh god! I am getting hurt. I am getting so very hurt. I need to be more careful. That's pretty much the biggest issue that I've had here is I'm treating the castle or I'm treating the Maya like I would treat a castle run. And I really need to not do that. Uh, this wolf is just I'm trying to just pretty much avoid him considering he is more than likely to deal damage to me. Uh, you know what? I think if I just jump right here, yeah, this is going to be pretty easy for me. Free vampirism! Thank you, game! That was very much appreciated. I don't think I'm getting inside of there. Is there even a dwarf entrance to that? I guess those guys are just there to taunt me. Uh, this looks like another giant mini-boss. Although I did deal with these guys before, but I don't think I'm ready to handle perhaps a Maya-level version of that boss just yet. Uh, let's see, this guy shouldn't be... What?! Mid-sentence. Claiming that he wouldn't be that much of a problem. The dragon! Sir Hornsby the gay colorblind dragon! Hell yeah! I think I'm pretty much obligated to go for that guy, aren't I? Uh, let's see. Gold get is a little bit more than what I can afford. Right? Oh my god, that is way more than I can afford at any stage in my life. Do I want to get a health upgrade? Maybe a damage boost? Can't upgrade magic damage. Can I? Yeah, I can. Totally. Let's go ahead and do that. 598 is not enough. This is going to be interesting. I'm a colorblind dragon. Ooh, that's fun. And we shoot fireballs out of our mouths. I don't really have that much MP. Holy crap. How am I supposed to... That's my only attack, right? How in the world am I supposed to recover enough MP to where I'm... That's viable. Maybe it just constantly restores. Let's find out. I'm going to jump up, and I'm going to go like that. Oh, it does. Okay, so that's good. It's not entirely uh, impossible. At that point, that would, I was going to say, that would be absolutely ridiculous if it only gives me one attack and I can only use it three times. Alright, there goes that guy. Dragon's seeming like a possibility here. He's one-shotting all these early castle dudes, but that's kind of to be expected, I guess. Uh, Kyrite goes down. I'm, I'm not even really paying attention to my magic. I'm just hoping that every time I shoot, I'm going to have enough to get that done. Alright, let's see. There goes that guy. The color blindness is kind of wigging me out here. I guess I gotta drop down to open chests like that. There we go. Yeah, he doesn't even have the option of swinging his sword. He pretty much is like, all or nothing in that respect. I don't know. He's, he's pretty good so far. Uh, we haven't had a hard time at all as far as dealing with these early castle demons, but as I said before, I would be distraught if such were not the case. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey! Free fairy chest if I can do this right. Just focus very uh, intently, and we, oh, I just nearly hit myself with that. Man, this thing goes up for a while. I didn't realize how intense this course was. There we go. 
Free fairy chest! I'll take it. Sprint rune from the helm. Nice. Drop all the way down to the freedom below. I don't think I'll ever complete this course without the dragon. That would be ridiculous. Let's clear through this stuff. Money bags! Sir Moneybags. The Monopoly character. Pretty sure that's his actual name, which is making me so happy to remember. Burst on right through here. There's some money that I missed. That sucks. Uh, let's see. Coming on through the walls. I'll deal with y'alls. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the Maya. Okay. Nothing looks any different because of the colorblindness, which kind of honestly makes it slightly more bearable. I'm, I'm kind of like psyching myself into thinking that th this is easier because it's not, you know, like a different color. The dragon does not have very much health. That does concern me. I suppose that's the sacrifice you have to make when you can fly around and shoot at everything. Uh, vampirism will help us out quite a bit, though. Ah, uh, the pyrite. Oh, that was a doom boss, too, there, God! Sir Hornsby. That's an, uh, I guess that's an appropriate name for a dragon guy. All right, well, that didn't go so great. We did get a rune out of it, I suppose. Another uh, dagger spell sword with, uh, uh, I don't know if I want to not be able to see myself. Uh, he's got no foot pulse, which I guess doesn't really help when you're a dragon. Uh, and these IBS here, let's see here. The Hokage with Quantum Translocator. That's such a worthless ability, man. Not digging this selection of heroes, but I guess I'm going to have to go with the Spell Sword again, considering I've had arguably, arguably the best success with these guys. So away we go again. Not nearly enough money to purchase just about anything. Holding on to something like 30, uh, 31 gold on the start, and uh, away we go! Now, we, I think what I'm probably going to have to do is actually kind of like harvest the early levels a little bit. I'm uh, very concerned about the fact that the Maya is killing me ne nearly instantly in just about every instance in which I decide to go inside of there. So perhaps we'll have to uh, farm for just a bit and uh, get our strength up. So where we can deal with these guys, and I'm just taking such stupid damage. Ridiculous amounts! I'm gonna assume that I'm probably somewhere around like two-thirds health right now. And, uh, another journal! Number 14, I have been methodically clearing the demons in these rooms in my quest to slay the next guardian, but I'm losing track of time and other things. As I entered the tower, I felt time stand still, or perhaps that is the vertigo talking. I was never keen on heights, or was I? I'm finding it increasingly difficult to remember my past. Interesting, Mr. Prince. No jumping. I can do this. I've got double dash. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, man. Oh, well. I got close, kind of, arguably. I, I'd say arguably in just about any instance because it's always applicable. Ugh. You can beat Rogue Legacy with your feet, arguably. Bam. Boom. One more hit, I'm three-shotting level eight critters. I don't know how I feel about that. That looks like a doom boss. I may be completely wrong about that. I'm also missing him entirely. Yep, I was right! Feels so good and bad at the same time. Grab some more cash. 163. Need to do a little better than that. Just a touch, though. Maybe, you know, like 200. That's a good objective. There we go. Clear that one right up. Flame lock, you bastard. Don't just throw balls at me from afar. That's not fair or appropriate. Perhaps left is a uh, good idea. Maybe not. This looks like a dead end almost. Got our health back though. Suppose it's almost entirely worth it just based on that. Zombie kill. Those always feel the best. Drop, drop on down, and oh hey, we got a big boy to deal with. Dagger, dagger, ho! Excellent. I called him a hoe after I threw a dagger at him. That's kind of just how I roll. Whoa-bam! And away we go again to the left side. Jukebox. Completely useless. Let's get out of here. Where is our map telling us? Is there another path up and to the right? Looks like a viable alternative to my uh, predetermined path. Let's see if I go up here like so. This could indeed prove to be the way. Let's not get hit by a guard box again. That would be humiliating. Oh, yeah, excellent. I like that you can hit things off screen. I've, I've played games like this before where uh, pretty much anything that you can't see can't be hit, which I guess was kind of by design, I'm sure, considering they wanted to have some enemies that were like really difficult to deal with and you had to keep them on your screen in order to really do anything about it. 
but at the same time, it's just annoying, you know? <laughs> like, I want to be able to strategize around my ability to avoid damage based on my proximity to the enemy, and that provided no such ability. Now, uh, don't have to worry about it here. I guess that's all I should be concerned with, shouldn't I? Guard box! Oh, the car right was ready for the jump. That guy, too. Oh, my goodness. They are... They're organizing themselves. They're communicating. We can't possibly deal with them now. Now, the treasure chest. Good, good, good. Not gonna be able to hit those guys. I'm fine with that, though. Away we go again. Perhaps the right side will prove fruitful, but I'm doubting that suggestion very much. Uh, that looks like a not doom boss, actually. Yeah, I was halfway between determining. There we go. So much money already. We're up to 2100. That's looking solid. Giant dagger for you, sir. And you as well. You look like you could use one. Okay. This is looking good. And I think maybe actually there could possibly be an entrance to the Maya. Very excellent indeed. Alrighty. Let's try this for a third time in the day, shall we? I'm thinking I should be able to hit these guys, even though they can hit me. That's okay. I still got the advantage here. I'm just going to wait for them to time out. There we go. I'm getting that spell vamp back, obviously, every time this happens. I just need to get this going well enough to where I can get the vampirism going again, because they have indeed hit me a lot, and I need to recoup my losses. Not going to grab that money, obviously, but all's well that ends well, I suppose. And end well we shall today. I'm determined to at least make a hinkling of progress through the entirety of this here Maya. I'm gonna try to play this the safe way. Not get hit by Mr. Rage face there. There we go. Make it about like 50 bucks a pop off these enemies, which I am more than okay with. The Hulk guard is gonna be taking quite a bit of punishment. And uh, Shuriken Buddy is over there behind him too. I don't know how I feel about that. There goes the guy that was standing adjacent. That's interesting. All right, Shuriken guy is down. And now we have another one to deal with over here. He's actually not so bad if we can just get in there and... Ah, oh, he still grabbed me. That's okay. Still in a relatively good position. And I use that word to match its literal definition. And that uh, we could be a lot worse. And uh, I guess I have to continue looking at it that way, considering the Spell Sword is more than likely my best bet of progressing through this area without actually going back and farming. As I continually talk while jump dashing down... <laughs> This massive Hulk guard who has way too much health. Let's go ahead and throw that over at you, buddy. And uh, I guess every single hit on this guy is going to provide me with the uh, damage I need with the spell sword. So this actually works out pretty freaking fantastically. Let's go like, oh, the retaliation rune kind of helped me out there. But unfortunately, it was at the price of a bit of my precious life. I'm going to have to uh, take that in stride here. Wait a minute, we're not recouping... Oh, we're only getting four mana back. Oh, I guess it's probably because we're only hitting him in the front. That's probably by design, I would imagine. Bet if we hit him from the backside, we'd be getting the full full bounty back. There goes that guy again. Yes, sir. And uh, we're back up to full mana, so let's go ahead and dish him out. Oh, that was ridiculous. Why you gotta be mean to me, man? Oh, that's Doom Trait, too. Oh, my goodness. I should be more careful about these things. I gotta be more careful, man. What am I doing? I need more armor. That should be my first thing. I've got another spell sword. I've got a vertigo dragon. No, thank you. A paladin with stereo blindness. A flame barrier spell sword is the best thing I've ever seen, especially when they're a dwarf. If I can't win this, I do not deserve anything. Well, I don't know. Maybe I need to go upgrade things. But armor. Magic damage and armor. I like that combination. Let's go with it. 280 gold left. That's fine with me. Woo! This'll work. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, God. I do this because I love you, training dummy. Let's go for it. Yes, sir. Inside we go. Now, this is Lady Stephanie the Fourth, the spell sword with an imagination higher than that capacity of her mana to cast spells. Flame Barrier is just going to be pretty much pump through every single enemy we see, and I'm going to be hopefully looking for uh, some opportunities. Oh, my goodness. Giant Flame Barrier. I didn't even consider that possibility. That's going to be amazing. Uh, now, I'd, let's not get ourselves hit in stupid ways here. Luckily, I can actually see my health pool here, so this is going to obviously be just that much better, giving me a better sense of exactly what I can handle. 
Oh man, this is, uh, this is an interesting room. Oh, those things can go through the walls, I forgot about that. Alright, well, time to deal with this in the best way I know possible. Already used up all my mana, unfortunately. Don't think any of these are Doom Boss, and we found ourselves a whole bunch of money as a result, so I'm happy with that. Grabbing ourselves up to nearly 500 gold already. Let's see. Uh, these rooms are just so freaking weird. Alright, there we are. And up into another chest. Excellent. Do, do, do. There we are. Grab that money. Love that money. Excellent. I'm surprised I was just able to dash right through that stuff, but regardless, here we go. Looking for something to give me some more mana back, an enemy perhaps. This looks like an entrance to the jungle, and I very well could consider going through here and, uh, you know, farming up a bit. Then again, I think I'd rather uh, take this flame barrier spell sword through the Maya if at all possible. Those tall guards aren't any match for me anymore, man. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in this direction. See what kind of possibilities lie back inside of the castle. Uh, oh, hey, we're not getting into the castle yet. That's interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! You dummy. Right into the wall. Alright, so uh, this is an exceptionally dangerous strategy here, considering those spikes right above my head, but uh, working so far. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Cool. Uh, now, what am I doing over here? We've got ourselves another diary of journal entry number 15. I remember being a famous adventurer in my martial prowess, surprised, suppressed, all of my brothers. That I'm sure of. While they spent their days buried in their bookish studies, I was out killing brigands and monsters. I always wondered why my father favored them over me. Isn't it always the opposite in fairy tales? Fortune favors the bold, not the insipid intellectual, or something like that. Man, I would love to see my brothers try to outthink my sword in their face. I've often said that about my own family members. That was a dumb bit of damage I just took. I can walk right under all these things. What was I even thinking? Let's go ahead and go through this path over here. We got ourselves a, uh... I don't know what the hell I just did to myself there, but we got a chest to take out, and we're more than happy to sacrifice a little bit of a little bit of our well-being to grab it. At least that's what I'm willing to tell myself so I can sleep well at night. Uh, it's back to the castle we go, though. I think I'm going to try to find the entrance to the Maya real quick over here. Low a bit on health, but not enough to be uh, very concerned about it. I'm looking at the map here, and it looks like if we just go back over through this way, we should be able to find a path up higher to get inside the Maya opportune amount of time. Still one-shotting the majority of these guys in here. This is the first room after all, so it's good that that's still the situation. Uh, looks like if I go up this way, I should find the entrance. Up a couple more floors, of course. Go ahead and go like this, and uh, we find nothing but a Doom Voss and 12 gold. Now, a uh, little tricky situation here, nothing I can't handle. Very good, and uh, it's just the boss room, so not necessarily the entrance to the Maya up above us, but regardless, still closer than we ever have been in this particular run. Flame barrier on, uh, that was kind of a silly use of it, but did the most damage I could and got my health back, so all's well. Need to get some mana going again here, though, and here we have it. Right away, the entrance to the Maya, right when I'm least prepared to deal with it, of course. Oh, this is, uh, this is particularly dangerous here. Let's see. Ah, oh, I figured that would happen. All right, that's fine. Got okay, so there's a little bit of vampirism going, I think. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to approach this right now. I might just want to clear through this room. I'm not sure that's going to be the best situation to present myself in. A uh, doom trait going on, and as well as a freaking giant ice mage. I'd rather kill this guy if, if I could. There we go. Uh, maybe the flame barrier. Man, I'm starting to think it's not going to be as great as I once thought it was. I mean, if we had a bit more mana, that would probably be awesome, but unfortunately, the situation I'm in right now, it's just costing too much to really be lucrative. Of course, it's still doing a hell of a lot of damage. I should probably be using the empowered one, honestly. I mean, like, I'm only going to be able to hit a couple of enemies at a time with it, and that's a given. So, uh, maybe I should be making the most of it in that respect. Kill the Doom Trait, kill the Doom Trait, kill the Christmas Monster Man! There we are. I don't know if I should tempt the fate in there, and I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, another one here. Uh, I need to recover my mana a little bit. How in the world did he manage to just do that to me? He totally cut off his predetermined course just to stab me right in the face. That was ridiculous, and that was a little bit more. Well, damn, guys! The Maya sucks! <laughs> Thanks for watching, though. 
I'm thinking I might need to farm a bit, and I'm thinking maybe that could be something a live stream might be in order for to really get some uh, crazy farmage going up. I know uh, regular episodes wouldn't really be uh, that good as far as that's concerned, so maybe look out for a live stream in that respect, or uh, perhaps we can try a couple more times with the regular old characters. But for now, thanks so much for watching. We'll upgrade a little bit more next session, and I uh, hope to see you then.